Hello and welcome to Let's Try, a series where we try new and upcoming indie games. Have you ever wondered what your cat would do or your, your pet would do if something happened to you? Well, in tonight's game, Bright Paw, we're going to find out. Bright Paw is a recent release by developer Radical Forge and publisher Rogue Games Inc. It was released yesterday, August 31st. On a scene. Let's go ahead and get right into it. See, it skipped over the menu the first time I fired this up, and now it actually has the menu here. We're going to turn down volume very slightly to make sure I can be heard. Master volume to about... Sure, 90% sounds about good. Hello, Neboros. Let me know. I assume sound is good now. Let me know if it's not. Continue should hopefully work. So we just started Act, act yeah, here we go. Act Zero, Level One, Shelter. Perfect to hear, Nevers. Perfect to hear. Oh, there you are, Theo. Honestly, late to your own dream. Do you even know where you are? Ah, well, it's time we got you sorted out with these cards. Come on now, we haven't got all day. Tap a card, preview and release to play. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. Just give that rewind button a tap, and we'll see if we can't start walking around things instead of into them. <laughs> if you rewind. ever find yourself in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. So really now, tap this look give at it, these right? a whirl and see where they get you. Okay, the, the tap to view is not <laughs> responsive. Uh, am I able to change my perspective? It's a little like I can't. I can't quite see behind this guy over here. I think we just want to go forward too, and then hope that this works. Behind stuff we can't see. Oh, there's a rotate. Wait, no, that was retry. That was not. Oh, there you are, Theo. Where's my Honestly, skip button? Late to your own dream. Do you even know where you are? Ah, well, it's time we got you sorted out. With the lower cards. left button is retry. Now. We Game, got thank you for the raid. Oh, sorry about that. Just give that yes, rewind yes, button I'm a tap. Yes, yes, the rewind button. We can't start walking around things instead of into them. I am attempting to rewind. If you ever find rewind, yourself perfect. in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. Hello, bed. Now, give these a whirl and see where they get you. Okay, so I have to start with this one. And then somehow I was supposed to be able to rotate to the forward two. Do this again, I guess. Click and drag to rotate the camera and use the scroll wheel to There you go. Okay. Remember, Theo, you can look around. It wasn't letting time. me originally. What's that just there? Maybe you should give it a peek. What's what just where? Odd cat box. A strangely familiar but otherwise nondescript box washed up on the shore of Theo's subconscious. Hmm. I wonder Good what evening, that's game. doing sitting around here. Maybe you should keep your eyes open for other interesting things. You never know what you'll find. I'm really curious about these other these other cats that are in the well, cages. We're done here. Go on, leap into your family's arms. Lauren and Nathaniel are waiting. Act one, murder. We are playing Bright Paw tonight, game. Where we get to answer the question of, if you were to die, if something unexpected was to happen to you, what would your pet do? No, we are a cat game, there's a ah, difference. What was that? Oh, okay. Um, well, after being woken unceremoniously by a sudden noise, our hero Theo felt that if he was to be kept awake, he deserved to know why. True that. Absolutely we deserve to know why. So this is a puzzle game. And it's supposed to, there's supposed to be, I think, a hundred levels or something. It's supposed to get a little bit Hearing crazier over time. from the kitchen, Theo wondered if he had really moved from his bed just to listen to some tiff. Hastily packed suitcase. A suitcase rapidly filled and suddenly cast aside. 
family photo, despite the awkward posing, happiness and pride are visible in the photo. Grand piano, no longer attended or cared for, but grand despite the lack of use. Okay, so here we're, we're getting a more interesting, so there's a, that was like a broken window over here. Despite or no, an open window. Theo couldn't simply stay here forever. He had to find out what was happening. Look, narrator, I will get there when I get there. Which, um... Can I not? Oh, I can't walk into that, so I'll have to do that, do that, do that. Which is pretty easy, so we're starting off tutorial a little bit. were a little more serious than he thought. The objective here is to solve the each each map, which so far has just been kind of tutorial. The kitchen seemed normal, except what was that he could see across the room? He had to take a closer look. Okay, what are we able to see in the kitchen? Is there any uh, is there any food for me left out by any chance? Oh, my cat, my th food bowl. One of Theo's most prized possessions, completely devoid of answers, insight, or food. The thing is that there's a grid that I have to go along, which is presumably going to get more difficult as the game goes on. Am I able to just... I'm just spinning the thing. Uh, can I actually get a good angle on where I am and where I'm trying to move to? I'm going to assume one of those is going to work. God. Theo couldn't believe what he was seeing. His family, motionless on the floor. But take a nap. No gun. Nothing at all. Was someone else here? I may screw this one up, actually. No, I won't. Okay. As he turned away, Theo could only think about one thing. Someone was surely responsible for this. And he had to know who. There's an item. Joshua and Theo, a young boy and his cat. Whoever said dogs are man's best friend had clearly never seen this photo. So here's the question, chat. Cats or dogs? I myself am a cat person, which is why we are playing this game. We have to move according to the little cards that we have on the bottom of the uh, screen, which I... Yeah, which you guys can see this examining the hallway, Theo saw no signs of the killer. Instead, he found a path of destruction carved through strange machines before him. Out of place robot. A strange robot sitting in the front room and falling to pieces. Grandfather clock, like all household clocks, we've been taking it as a constant reminder of the universe's slow march to entropy. Is there not a third? Nathaniel's graduation. The optimism of youth. Oblivious to the crushing disappointment of reality after formal education. So very true. No, so see, see how we have down here these three different cards game? We have to figure out how to navigate these, this room with these cards. The deeper into the room Theo moved, the more he realized that something was amiss. That bright red light hadn't always been there, had it? So, so far it's been just super easy. Achievement unlocked, act one murder. We are now entering Act 2, Chase. So we need to find out why we're not getting fed. Clearly the most important question here. Ooh, lasers. We love lasers. Although he could not shake the image of his departed owners, Theo suddenly found himself somewhere very different indeed. However, before he could appreciate his new surroundings, he found his attention drawn to the glowing hot wall of energy in front of him. Faced with something so clearly hazardous, he thought it might be wise to take a moment to think before diving headlong into oblivion. No, we should head into oblivion. We won't, but we could. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. After his daring maneuver, Theo found that he was still alive. Unfortunately, there was one more laser to slip past. Uh, so tonight's tie is actually one of my nicest ties ever. Oh, we're not... We, might. We, are, we have tied a beautiful Eldridge knot 
This is a tie by The Dark Knot. It is one of the nicest ties I own. It's also one of the ties I'm most disappointed with. It's an 62 inch length tie. I think it's, six, no, not 62 inch. 62 inch? 52 inch? Oh gosh, why can I not remember my tie lengths anymore? It's, it's a tie for taller men. I had originally purchased it. I'm getting shocked my top. I had originally purchased it because I was hoping to get more tail to do tie knots with, but it ended up being uh, too much tail. So it's actually, t you know, a lot of the smaller knots will tuck the tail. Was blocking his path. After risking his life twice, he was in no mood for this obstruction. Perhaps that broken vent offered salvation. The, the tail will tuck in one eye and do the other. This is actually tucked about halfway up around my neck, which is far too much and is, is very disappointing. On the other hand, if I was to wear a normal Windsor, this would actually be a perfect length tie on me, just about. Ruin Security Bot, a modern and threatening looking robot rendered immobile and useless. It's also an incredibly nice tie though. It's, it's incredibly, it, it's, I, I don't think the camera is doing Still it justice. Tense from his previous trial. Fear was immensely and the materials also very nice. No deadly lasers when he emerged from the vent. On the other hand, he was instead faced with a functional, frantic, and quite soggy security robot. Janitorial bot. Sparkbot, how are you feeling about all the uh, the portrayal of robots in this game so far? Any opinions? No? You can do be a better janitor, you say? Janitor bot, custodial bot does a better job? All my friends are dead. Never was a saying in chat. Poor custodian spinning their wheels after attempting to clean up after someone else. Okay. Doesn't. Ooh, whoa! I just, I just perspective shifted somehow. Oh, it just uh, snapped me to a direction as part of what. Okay, the fact that I can just shake this plant over and over again is the most concerning... Oh, I can't show up from that side. I can just shake these plants repeatedly, and that is the most unsettling thing to me right now, and I don't know why. As he skirted by the distracted machine, Theo found himself eyeing the whole riddled aquarium. Either someone was stalking the halls, shooting at water features, or the security needed to work on their aim. See if we need another robot to catch the other leak. Though the appeal of fresh fish was enticing, it was offset by the risk of an unexpected bath. Rather than contemplate such a terrible fate any further, Theo decided to make a quick exit. Remember, game, in our chat, we will use the emotes to, as a form of shorthand for the name. So when, when she showed Sparkbot, you were to read it as Sparkbot. This time with the water safely inside, not threatening to unpleasantly dampen his fur. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more seriously. Ooh, we get to deal with the security robot. Starfish, alive? Not sure. Dead? Maybe. Unfazed by the current situation? Definitely. It's all a good game. Handgun advertisement. Reliable, concealable, and effective. A must-have sidearm for the professional hench person. Comes with a variety of upgrades for your style and you see this is a, this is interesting now. Uh, do we have any... Although Theo could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. No, he doesn't. Golden cat statue. An overt but befitting show of respect to the true superior life on Earth. Ninja cat would approve. Oh, ooh. How did that just... work precisely? I need to, I need to turn right. We may get killed right now. Oh no, I just want to go straight. Let that robot do what it does. Ooh, we're not going to finish this stage. We done goofed. Yeah, we done goofed. 
Okay, we're good. We're starting over. That bot is so angry. Okay, let's try. See, now, right now we finally failed a puzzle. Theo was encouraged by the sight of another aquarium. Yes, yes, yes. How do this I, time how do I with the water skip? safely inside, not threatening to oh, hey. dampen his Hop fur. down to you. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more. Oh, okay. I just pulled the skip. Although Theo could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. Tearing his attention away from the unattainable, Theo delicately stepped between the broken remains of some very expensive looking showpieces. Despite his lack of any understanding of fine art, he was disgusted by the wanton destruction before him. Having successfully weaved past the searching eyes of the guard, he was overjoyed to see that he could just follow the killer through a door instead of crawling through the ventilation like a rodent. Game, I don't know why the security in Theo's house is having problems. Perhaps it's on high alert because there appears to have been a murder. Theo cast his eyes about the grandiose room, the impressive decor marred by the smoking wreckage of robotic guards. Clearly, someone with no respect for interior design had been this way. However, hanging over the remains of a reception desk, Theo spotted something that took his interest. Bright Paw Industries. Roll credits. Vending machine offers a variety of villainous beverages. Unfortunately, not designed to be used by felines. I don't know, I'll bet if we hit the thing enough, it'll uh, drop us a beverage. Smack it enough times. Reception bot. Not to be confused with receptionist bot. Though this robot can't stop panicking, it refuses to abandon its position at the reception desk. That's dedication. We don't really know, game. So far, it's the, the implication that Although I'm taking out of this was impressive, is that Theo's Theo owners he may have been criminals and may have been murdered by being criminals. Bright Paw sign, a proud and majestic company sign out of place among the debris. All right, so we've got a move forward. We've got a wait. One, Theo two, three. Theo had many questions, but lollygagging wouldn't answer any of them. Laser. Ooh, this is not gonna work. I done goofed. No, I didn't. We're fine. Despite okay. the damage, the underlying class of this bright poor establishment was clear. The placement of several large aquariums, brimming with exotic fish, was an inspired design choice that Theo could respect. Theo crossed the room, Oof. breathing in the intoxicating fragrance of fish, Rewind while one. taking care Rewind to one. avoid the remaining hazards. As he did, his mind began to wander. Why was a place like this situated beneath his home? And more importantly, why had these fishy treats not been brought to his attention before? That's a good question. Why have I been eating cat food when there's been fish this whole time? Act 2, level 5, show 4. Yeah, so this isn't his house game. We, we went through that glance, event it bent that and ended up down stumbled into a storage room for broken glass. Except there were other items in the glittering fragments. Grenades? Missiles? An umbrella? Hmm. Classic bomb. When it comes down to it, sometimes bad guys just want the classics. Patrol bot. A security robot overly focused on its patrol route. The biggest threat is accidentally being run over. So that might actually be what happens when we get hit. Trick umbrella advertisement. Rain or shine is simply the first choice in defense and offense. This undercover weapon will turn heads or remove them and is suitable for formal events, which we love to attend on this channel. Okay, so this guy's gonna try to deal with me, so I need to wait him out a second. Theo padded behind the guard, pondering his discoveries. A hidden underground facility, robotic security, and now rooms filled with odd weapons. 
What on earth was this place? Looking back, Theo considered that it was perhaps unwise to leave such destructive toys lying around. On the other hand, there was no way someone would leave live explosives on display. Hmm. Probably best to ignore it and hurry on. I'm sure all of these bots can be perfectly trusted with live explosives. Much like Sparkbot. Theo contemplated the ruins of the once magnificent boardroom, which had been reduced to little more than burnt mahogany by some kind of explosion. Apparently, the killer had needed to clear the room in a hurry. But why? Wait, never a second. Oh, perhaps those lasers were a motivator. Never I completely missed that quote. Bryce Paw Industries putting the U in eugenics. Nathaniel's dealings. What Nathaniel might foolishly consider his first real success in life, sealed by a handshake and immortalized in print. It was on the intercom. Yeah, I missed. I'm so sad I missed that. Grenade advertisement. Need your enemies to disappear in a hurry? Would you prefer them to be in pieces? Then these are definitely for you. Caution. Good throwing arm not included. Trapped chair. These chairs are designed to help establish dominance in a meeting by disposing of undesirable attendees. <laughs> they just the chairs just tip over backwards and dump the people out. Oh, this is our highlight game tonight. Okay, how do I get across this room? With the wall of death slowly advancing, Theo scrambled for a plan to slip by. There, across the room, a shattered glass wall offering a glimpse of escape. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> like, uh, the wall is trans... Uh-oh. We're not going to get there in time. Definitely avoiding glass oh. with his paws. Theo found his eyes drawn to a large portrait on the wall. Was that Nathaniel? As he stood, he wondered, how much of all this was his master responsible for? Act three, motive. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with this so far. It's, it's a little too simple. Someone had clearly been rifling through their deliveries recently, though they didn't seem to have found what they were looking for. Like, it's, it's just, so far that the puzzling has just been an excuse to navigate the story, which is fine. It just hasn't been engaging gameplay yet. Patrol Bot Blueprint, a technical specification for a bright paw industry security robot. Surprisingly simple. I'm glad you're enjoying it, game. Oop. Ransack crates, a collection of crates turned over in a specific so, I feel, game, I feel like you typically enjoy far fewer of the indie night choices than most people do. Box of empty vials. A box torn open and abandoned, leaving the vials within untouched. What could these be for? And look at the sad reception robot. Reception bot. Obviously, the killer had been looting the facility. And it was unlikely that they planned to use volatile weaponry to spread peace and joy. Being a conscientious cat, Theo knew it fell to him to put a stop to the killer's nefarious activities. Look, if you can't use weapons to spread peace and joy, how can you spread peace and joy? There's just not another way. But you're enjoying the story. No, that's, that's the thing. You're enjoying the story, and I'm glad to hear that. Oh, gosh. It does never... Finding himself inside a warehouse... It does sound like another sound we're very familiar with. ...gave Theo some measure of hope. Perhaps the killer would try to search the top of an unstable pile and fall to their doom. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Depot 1 out of 2. Hefty weapon crate. Sadly, none of these weapons of destruction appear to be built with paws in mind. The world can be a very unfair place. There we go. Oop. Sea mine crate. Something built to sink ships will have no trouble with an overconfident cat. Not for prodding. Like, there's a little bit of challenge on the fact that these... 
cars are Lost switching back and forth. Lost in danger of being buried alive. Fear Ooh. stepped blindly forwards onto a conveyor belt, promptly shuffling him away from his happy thoughts. The conveyor belts move. Okay. So it's going to shift me over one, yeah. Perhaps it was unlikely that the killer would be ended by fallen cargo. But the belts leading into the dark and deadly machinery seemed to promise an untimely demise. Hey, we're, we're getting some slow build up there. I mean, there could easily be some good puzzle action here. Spotting a bundle under some nearby crates, it appeared Theo's wishes had been heard. However, he tempered his excitement until he could get a closer look. Looted explosives crate. A tipped over crate that should be filled with explosives, but is worryingly empty. I mean, the game is titled Bright Paw, but I'm also kind of... <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of surprised the game is not titled Paws of Mass Destruction. There's a second. Okay, it's the box over there. Complete the average box. Oh, an empty crate. Very interesting. Close to the definition of scraping the bottom of the barrel. So that one is going to move left. This one doesn't look like it's moving at all. Hopefully that's... Stepping over a broken belt with great care, he was disappointed to discover not a body, but simply several empty crates bearing the label High Explosive. Ooh. I screwed this up. I need to... No, that was wrong too. I'm finally, I'm finally good for this. I have to go forward the two. I can't actually move forward two to two. Ooh, we're having some trouble here. One, two, three. I can move to either side. If I move there, I'm just done. If I moved here, it didn't work. Or was I supposed to go around the back, maybe? One, two, three, one. Doesn't seem right either, though. Maybe I did do it right, and I'm just getting, being dumb. So I move here. I have to move right, it'll shift me over. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, I was being dumb. I have the to move here. The empty crates led Fear to conclude three things. The killer had found what they were looking for, they were definitely up to something, and Theo's work was not yet done. He moved on with the hope that the killer's loot would be enough to slow them down. That's not right either. I just want to move forward, okay. Now, whoopity and whoopity. Okay, cool. Trying way too hard, guys. Act 3, level 4, take cover. Theo pondered the erratic crusade of the robots as they fired at non-existent threats. Perhaps the killer had just passed through? Or the killer is invisible. What's getting destroyed on this wall over here? Like, what splatter? Ooh. Algae container. Okay. A specific, a specially designed crate used to safely house ominous algae. Laser bot. No laser spark bot. No lasers for you. There's something that's simply wonderful about lasers. Efficient, destructive, and deadly. You know where you are with lasers. Also nice for chasing up a wall. Oh, there should be a third something to click on. I wanna I wanna I wanna read these descriptions. Just uh, move forward. How do I? I 
should want to move here because this will advance the belt, forward. And unable to tell the again. difference between a cat and a crate, and lacking the desire to learn, moved him once again as it would any other box. That selfish crate, or not crate, the belt. Wow. Mysterious drawing. Lines carefully etched in concrete that vaguely resemble a cat. Uh, of course, all things in life resemble a cat because why wouldn't they? The determination of the artist excuses their lack of attention to detail. Now, see this uh, spot. Can we see the? Oh no, we're just covering it up. Let's let's very quickly. This. Oh, oop, I need to be on the thing. This spot right here almost looks like a ball that the cat is chasing after. Almost. I trust that you all are accustomed to passing a Rorschach test. Which, of course, we know all Rorschach paintings look like cats. Or cat food. Or mice. Or a ball of yarn. Or a string. Okay, so this is going to advance one more. I need to get back on the side there. Oh, that didn't advance me. That's fine, though. I do this, and I peace out for the As end. As he headed for the door, Theo couldn't shake the feeling that the strange blue algae was creeping steadily across the wall behind him. Oh, well, it was probably harmless. I mean, we haven't we haven't died yet. We've just made mistakes. Scribbles is our next level. Whoever Theo was following had certainly spooked these poor robots, who were all consumed by blind panic. Oop, there's a box we can save on. Big algae container. This crate was developed to hold large amounts of glowing algae. Also functions well as mood lighting. I need to add my lava lamp to this room, actually. Odd Cypher, a bizarre, bizarre series of patterns with no clear meaning, perhaps some kind of code. Okay, so... I don't have a way to... Okay, I have to do this to get back, to get onto the conveyor and move ahead. As he carefully padded forwards, avoiding lasers, Theo noticed the most curious drawing etched into the wall. But why would a killer stop to doodle? If I do this, it advances me one. I don't have a weight, so I can't do that. Well, I could do this. That's what I can do. Move over one. Before we couldn't stop thinking about the bizarre graffiti he kept seeing. Oh, that's not gonna do it. It's unlikely the killer was taking the time for artistic creativity. Was someone else in the facility? Yeah, it has to be a advance this way. I think I have two lava lamps currently, but I haven't turned them on in a long time to see how they're still doing. I did before or no? Must not be what I did before. It's not actual lava game, it's just a reactive substance that heats up and bubbles. As he in stepped the into water. the room, I, I don't know. I can't explain how lava lamps work. Haunted. They're magic. By yet another drawing of a slightly more significant scale. Oh, the glass shattered in a move? That's sad. Abstract mural. A series of rigid geometric lines seems to be ta to take the form of a figure. What could it be? A poorly drawn cat face. Plain and simple. There's no mistaking it. Could not be anything else. Theo tried his best to examine the etching, but found it devoid of artistic value. That's not true. It's, it's clearly a poorly rendered cat face. Gun rack. A rack of very lethal and very illegal firearms. A best sell. Uh, do we have a third something to look at somewhere?
Uh, hey, for effort, clearly you everything suppose? is this cat. Uh, you're gonna move one over. He's gonna keep moving over. I might as well do this. Ooh, that's not, that's not a good call. Is it? Let's just wait. Oh, no, that might be, be oh, oh, we got a new one, okay. No, I can't actually do any of those, okay, rewind. So it must be the move two forward, okay. Must be move two forward again. I can't actually do anything with any of those though. I can't be right. I can't go into the laser's path. Do I have to fight my way through that? Doesn't seem right. Let's go ahead and take a death and see what happens. <laughs> Clearly we're watching security footage, live, and that's what this game is actually all about. That's why the rewind button exists. It didn't really happen. Just our imagination. I was expecting that as a death noise for a cat. None of us were. Do I see the wait from the start? Is that what's going on? No, I can't I can't wait from the start or it'll go in my way. It has to be the advanced two forward. Has to be. Uh, and I probably have to go around through here is my guess. That's probably what I'm screwing up right now. I also have a good way to do that, though. If I just wait one, does that As you began to move away, Theo couldn't help but wonder who would put so much effort into these acts of vandalism. Was it maybe some kind of poorly drawn calling card? One, two, three. I'll be facing that crate that I'm not going to get around. If I move here, does this do anything good for me? Perhaps, he thought as he carried on, the murderer was simply an awful artist. Hello, Happy Cow Whatever it was, the mural failed to hold Theo's interest long enough for any meaning to be gleaned. Did I miss a clickable on the screen? I feel like I did, but I don't see anything highlighted to click on. Let's get a description for. All right, let's finish up that board then. Act three, level seven, loading. According to the booming sounds of heavy industry and the massive shipping containers, Theo had found himself in some kind of loading station. It's mostly been pretty easy puzzle happy hour games. It's it's it the, these puzzles have mostly just been a medium for a great narrator. A great narrator, decent mood music, and a mysterious plot where our owners were killed and they may have been involved with a criminal organization. Obvious tie. I apologize, I am not wearing a red necktie tonight, guys. A bright red necktie deliberately knotted around a railing like a flag. It almost feels too obvious. There were supposed to be two objects I can click on. Where's the second object I can click on? Cargo container. A very large shipping container, most notable for its size and not for the expensive hardware contained within. Are those conveyor belts that they're on? It's not a clear direction they move that they're on. Forward and see. Theo's eye was oh, caught by go. something colorful and clearly out of place hanging from a rail across the room. Yes, I saw that. A discarded tie. Was this some kind of taunt? It's no fun. I can't play with the tie. Should do that. It was becoming clear to Theo that the large boxes wouldn't just wait for him to cross. 
so he quickened his pace towards the infuriating clue. Hmm. Clearly, the killer had left this tie to send a message, but in doing so, they had left a trail for Theo to follow. Perhaps he'd get the better of them yet. Game, no one ever gets sick of wearing a tie. No one. It's impossible. Who would ever find it uncomfortable? No one. Though he was intrigued by the surprisingly expressive train waiting before him, on the other side of the tracks, a curious hole in the wall drew his eye. Perhaps the killer had made their own exit. Game, I'm sure you would look dapper in a tie. Okay, so what we have this covered crate over here. What does it hold? Jewels? Acorns? The gateway to another world? Catnip? Sadly, due to your indifference, we will never know. Ooh, train robot. A zero-emission, semi-sentient train fueled only by its self-hatred over public transport. Game, even though you've only worn... You've, you've worn clip-ons before, right? Or, or zipper ties, one of the two? Don't get me wrong. I, I strongly suggest you purchase a real tie. You've worn both. I, I would strongly suggest you purchase you know, one good tie, learn to wear it. Rail Route Map A, a map detailing the railway for those who struggle to remember their stop. Okay, so this is going to continue to advance forward, I assume, as I go on to it. Let's go here first, but it's not doing anything. Stepping onto the train, Theo glanced towards his goal and noticed a strangely carefree-looking robot bumbling around near a control panel. Hopefully this one wasn't a threat. Is it a good tie game? What are you up to, robot? The train began to quake, and Theo couldn't react fast enough to leap off. He had better find something to hold on to. Act 3, level 9, locomotion. Got it years ago as a gift. So Theo pull it was out. Quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament extremely upsetting. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train looped back to the station. Volume is way. I guess I'm still loud in the volume. Okay. I, I love how the narrator's just like, hang on for dear life. Yes, we are not doing our Final Fantasy VII remake sequence. Oh, we're going, we're going nine. We're going more than 88 miles per hour, guys. Going back to the future. Try not click on anything to be, here we go. Safety conscious bot. Spark bot, learn from this one. A small robot giving it their all in the name of fire suppression. Spark bot, learn from this one. No second thought, nothing. It said, out of two. Oop. Off the game. For those who don't know what I'm referring to, I'm referring to the episode of Spark Comic where Nebros have burned down the Spark Bomb Mansion. It, uh, at some point, I'm going to have it up on Spark Bomb to actually view. I just haven't quite uh, been keeping up with my duty properly yet. Oh, I need to. That was wrong. I need to go left first. Can I do a forward first? As the hatch broke free and rocketed past him, Theo pressed himself against the train and vowed to dedicate the rest of the ride to keeping his eyes open for low-flying objects of feline destruction. Good choice. Still have not seen our next clickable object yet. Wait, this, this fire suppression robot is going alongside the train. Hello, Cypress. I hope you got a wonderful night's sleep last night. Game, I will happily remind you to show off your tie on stream. I am very curious. Theo might have found some comfort knowing he wasn't the only one caught unaware by the sudden departure. 
departure. But it was all he could do to just keep his paws on the ground. Who do I this one next? This has still been too easy of a puzzle game. Like, it's, it's been a fun plot so far. But I still don't feel like I'm having to really concentrate all that much. Oh, what is, what is that? Flaming Bot. It's hard to tell if this robot can feel pain. Does it even know it's on fire? Spark Bot wouldn't. I don't know, I mean, this, this is just a story. At this point, it's just a story. It's kind of my main... Right. Hope that was not right. Oh, what I what I hit? Achievement progress roadkill one out of ten. Oh, I can't just hit that. I have to. Oh, I have to restart the level. Oh no. Oh. Theo was quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament extremely upsetting. It's like it for not. Luckily, he just needed This game to is too easy. He says right before dying. Back to the station. forward well I can't actually do anything right now can I Okay, that uh, that I can see. To now. dedicate okay. the rest of the ride to keeping his eyes open for low-flying objects of feline destruction. Look, never a sweet. You act as if I pay attention to what games tell me to do. You should know by now that my ability to pay attention and talk to chat, even in a low-demand game like this, just, it's it's not gonna happen. I just want to go forward too. I'll put me forward three. Theo might have found some yes, Cypress, I am a kitty. I know, it's, it's a little bit backwards than normal. Departure. But it was all he could do to just keep his paws on the ground. Um. Two, three, over one. I think I want this one. I am a very cute, cuddly kitty. Meow. Someone's gonna clip that now, it's gonna be terrible. Oh, actually, I I've applied for some indie games where there's a lot more flowers and stuff. It was just like, I'm on it, great. That was also one of the best meows I've done in a while. We want to move forward the three, I think. She's on flipping it, game. Okay, we want to go over this way. Go over that way. Oop. Camera sometimes gets a little bit wonky. Gets me far enough forward here. I move forward to perform the rise. Go here. Okay, so so the square, that's the one that killed me before, right there. I need to move up to the right. Burning robot distract him from his efforts to survive. 
But it's the robot's on fire. How can you not let it distract you? Oh, did I? I done goof. I done goof. Come on, mouse. Don't, don't be failing me, mouse. Oh, I screwed up like two ago, didn't I? Okay. Was not planning ahead properly. Have your thoughts about me changed after that clip? Oh, the things I do for stream. Without being prompted to is the worst part. One, two, three. could just about spot the station approaching at a rapid pace he just has to hold on a little longer act three level 10 disembark we're still in act three i think it's supposed to have something like a hundred levels total theo staggered off the train quickly Driven by his newfound appreciation for solid ground and the terrible fear that it might suddenly set off again. We're going to be a long way from home at this point. Train control panel. The complex panel that had clearly been tampered with. Okay, so we need to head over to the... Just road. ahead of him, he could see that bloody robot that had sent the train off in the first place. Can't trust robots, man. As he followed the irritating machine through the jagged opening in the wall, Theo hoped that he wouldn't ever have to lay eyes on it again. And the fact that we're following it means we will, never will see it again. Act 4, help. And of course, an achievement for completing Act 3. Act 4, level 1, locked in. Ooh, Theo there's lava. his new surroundings curiously. Noting the piles of unused tiles and pipes. Across what little floor existed, there was a sharp drop from which a blinding light and tremendous heat emanated. Besides this abyss sat... Ugh, that bloody robot. It appeared that turning off the machine was the right course of action, as the strange barrier obscuring the exit had quickly vanished. Okay, so we're going to have power switches for future levels. That's cool. Electrical bot. A busy little drone making sure the power is in the right place, hopefully at the right time. Building materials. These types of materials are likely intended for construction purposes. Well, I'm going to have to... Oh, right. I have to... Do, do, do. Have to start with that one. Have to go here. See, like this one, we're being Theo forced was to go happy to move path. on and leave that robotic liability behind. Yes, we surely are. Surely the killer couldn't be too far now. Yeah, surely we're still on the trail of the killer, even though we just took a train to who knows where. Act four, level two, followed. Entering another area with limited flooring, Theo wondered why all of these rooms seemed so unfinished. Maybe the. Ugh. Starting to look like Theo might have a tail. Uh, no, no pun intended. Ramshackle wall. A wall made of garbage and I beams. Board robots aren't the best architects, it seems. Sea Cypher is such a fitting flower for you today. Oh! Apparently, Theo's new friend had some value after all. As long as he doesn't move. Um. Is there a way to switch the power to the other side? Caution was probably wise, but there seemed to be no other way. How do I power the opposite? Good thing robotic arms don't tire. Oh, okay, I have to move forward to make things happen. Theo regarded the 
Oh, I, we missed. Oh, we missed text. Actually, can I rewind? As the oblivious robot scampered over an obvious switch, fear braced for the consequences. When none presented themselves, he decided to stay on alert. There was no way he was safe while that machine was bumping into things. Hey, look, the machine's helping us out for now. This uh, this this bot is not as incapable as Sparkbot yet. And Sky, could you, welcome back to doing DQA for all of us. At four level three, switch it up. Contemplating the state of the room ahead, Fia reluctantly accepted that perhaps the robot's help might be necessary. Learn from this robot, Sparkbot. Please. As he threw a disparaging glance at the machine, Fear noticed some worn writing on his chassis. D4Z. Hmm. Lava pipe. The heat coming from this pipe is so extreme it's a wonder the whole thing hasn't melted. What's the other clickable in this area? Oh, well. D4Z. D4. Dazed. Dazim. Hmm. Daz. Ooh. Daz. Daz isn't bad. Daz is an acceptable name for this robot. This is still such a weird game mechanically. Like, it's just a story with a slight... As a loud noise it. reverberated behind Theo, he wondered just what he had done to be cursed with a trundling mishap. Though his companion seemed to be some kind of cosmic setback magnet, Theo had to admit, Daz was endearing, aggravatingly so, Eh, I'm indifferent to Daz. Hard to say Cypher stopped redeeming a hydrate to find out what glass I have today. Act 4, level 4, rupture. By the rupture. heat pouring from the broken machine, Theo mourned the obvious failings of engineering safety standards. How on earth was he going to reach the elevators beyond this mess? Today's glass, Cypress, is the violet glass of February. the machine. This will probably require a specialist or two. Hopefully it's not too important. He flinched when he heard the now familiar sound of Daz activating another switch. He cautiously opened his eyes and was pleasantly surprised to see something positive had finally come from this robot's help. As hurried into the elevator, Theo found himself growing slightly less aggrieved. Perhaps having the little fellow around might even be useful. Why is Robot just tagging along? Why is Daz tagging along with us? As the elevator rattled to a screeching halt, Theo found himself suspended on what could kindly be referred to as a rough and ready bridge. Or not so kindly as an invitation to a long plummet to certain death. Theo we get some rich drugs in chat. Gracefully down onto the scaffold to aid in his journey across. A white cat with a robot friend instead of a black cat with a robot friend? It definitely parallels Fear stared at him, things. shaming Daz with his steely gaze. Just shaming Daz with his steely gaze. What if it, I, I want to... We're going to wrap this up now, but I want to find out. I, I want to double check what the description stuff on this game is. Hopefully, this is a he hadn't weird... broken anything important. 
This quest will take you through more than 70 bespoke levels, each an escape room puzzle. That's, that's an exaggeration. With unique hazards and an intriguing, fully voiced narrative full of twists and turns, which has been doing well. With gorgeously stylized visuals, I'll agree. More than 180 hidden collectibles. I don't know if I count. The, the, the description for this game on Steam is the most generous description for these things possible. This logic puzzler is sure to tease your brain and keep you smiling. Okay, whoever, whoever did the... First off, we do want to thank them for giving us a copy of this game. But this is also the greatest marketing team of all time. cute story so far but that's really all that it's before oh contra is hard scoundrel uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this one once again this is bright paw it is available on steam i believe we do actually have a uh, affiliate link for it though so i mean i'm not gonna so if anyone is interested in it go ahead and either contact me or in the youtube click the link below been charming so we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this off here and we will be back shortly stand by